At least three parents and their students tell me they saw what looks like a struggle between a man and a female officer in this parking lot across the street. They say that struggle happened just before at least one gunshot rang out. Forensic trucks and crime scene tape canvas Suncoast High School. The school ground. I mean, with the kids and Brian McMahon saw the reason why uh, I did. Brian says around 7:20 a.m. He saw a man and a female officer struggling in the parking lot by the Avenue U entrance. I heard uh, a little bit of kind of rustling and, and a loud noise and someone yelled. Lana Zavgrodnev's 15 year old daughter describing that same struggle. Some guy uh, just attacked uh, the uh, police officer trying to like kind of strangle her and uh, grab for the gun. I heard a shot. And then I realized after I saw quite a bit of blood that he, a gentleman had, had been shot. That was about 20 seconds after he had dropped off his twin freshman students, Abigail and Keegan, just yards away. The first thing I immediately thought about was, was these guys. I was out in the courtyard and I just see people running. And immediately I hear the code yellow signal. Ninth grader Muriad Zulkayard was in the courtyard too. Some people running, I was like... Scared. She ran and hid in the library while Abigail and Keenan hunkered down. They told us to go in the complete back of the classroom and go under the desk. I did not uh, know what was going on. I just heard a bunch of yelling and stuff. They're thankful their dad knew they were safe as Mary Adzel recalls the frantic cluster of cars soon after. But this is like the parents oh, like when they first came in. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was like the police. Her mother Dawn came as quickly as she could, finding the swarm of officers and lights. You know, that brings on a whole different kind of level of, you know, worry. Yeah, it's a nightmare, man. I was like, oh my God, I dropped everything I was doing. As the all clear is issued and adrenaline fades. Uh, I don't know, I'm just, you know, I'm... All are just thankful. It could have been worse. It does put things into perspective that at any time, any point, you want to take things to uh, appreciate what you have. We asked students if they feel safe coming back to school after this incident. They tell me they do, knowing it wasn't targeted at them. Reporting in Riviera Beach, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.